It's Dave Joha once again for the Boxing Boys. Pleased to be joined by friend of the show, Johnny Fish. How are you, mate? I'm good, thanks, Dave. How are you, mate? All I'm, good? I'm all good, mate. I'm all good. Um, just spoke to Frank. Two and a half thousand tickets sold again. You're going to yeah. blow the roof off, aren't you, on could, Saturday night? I'm not exaggerating when I say this. I could have done three thousand plus. Um, he said four thousand. I could have easily. If they gave me four thousand at the start, I would have been able to do four thousand. No problem. But I'm just happy to have two and a half thousand people in there. Probably a little bit more than that because I sent a lot of people to stop up when I ran out of tickets. So people still getting tickets now. Hopefully, uh, it'll be a good performance I put on for them all. Good stuff. I mean, uh, fantastic uh, performance last time you were out as well. Last time I interviewed you, like I think people are mobbing you as well. You're getting used to all the uh, all the fame now as well when you're walking around. I don't see anything as fame or anything like that. All I'm here to do is do my job and the rest will take care of itself. If I win on Saturday, it carries on. So that's all that matters. Good stuff. And clearly you're not looking past this opponent. No, but no. How's training been in camp? I mean, it's I'll see good. You. Inspiring a lot of good guys. Fabio Wardy have been doing a lot of rounds with. Marius Wack I've been doing rounds with. So I'm fighting people, inspiring people who are more experienced than me. And I'm holding my own and doing well. So that's a good omen for the future. Massive card as well. You're on John Ryder, Danny Jacobs. Yeah. I mean, look, it's hard to pick a winner on this one as well because it's such a, you know, such a tight fight, I'd say as well. And John Ryder gave such a good performance of himself when he fought um, Callum Callum Smith. What, how do you reckon this fight is going to go down, mate? I think it's going to be a tough fight um, for John Ryder, but he's got tenacity. He's a local lad as well. We have a good crowd behind him. But um, Danny Jacobs is obviously operated at a very high level. So is John Ryder. So it's going to be a good a good display of the purest boxing for the purest fan I think it's going to be a good display so uh, I'm looking forward to watching it and they both seem like decent guys as well What's it like sparring Marius Wack and uh... Very hard very hard sparring Marius Wack a lot harder than I expected um, not that he's powerful or can punch hard more the fact he's just his relentless nature and um, I learned a lot from that sparring I sparred him right at the beginning of my camp and um, it's good to get seven rounds out and uh, to know that you can't always try and be the, be the ball and try and knock people out. You've got to box as well. I've shown inspiring that I can box so far in my fights and just shown my destructive power. And I hope I can do that again on Saturday night because I know people want to see that I can box, but people want knockouts more than that. Have you had anything um, to do with Joe Joyce and his camp at the minute? Not at the minute, no, because he's done a lot of training in Vegas and I was obviously back here, back here uh, focusing on what I have to do. But I'll catch up. I talk to Joe nearly every day. And, I'll catch up with him soon. Hopefully I'll get a trip out to Vegas after this one and uh, do a few rounds with him. Yeah, it'll be some good experience for you, mate. Yeah. It's very finely as well, mate. Um, I don't know if you'll be watching. Most people will. Khan versus Brook next week. Yeah. Yeah. Massive fight. Break, break it down, Johnny. What do you think is going to happen? Um, obviously, I think it's five years too late in the making. I think we'd love to have seen it five years ago, but it's still a very interesting fight. I just think, in my mind, Kel Brook, who's a strong physical man, um, that strength won't leave him like Amir Khan's speed and his youth. When he was a bit younger, he probably suited Amir Khan if they both fought, but now they're all a bit older in the tooth. I think that strength and durability of Kel Brook is going to be the thing that wins in the fight. And uh, Dillian White, Fiori, just needs to get your opinion on that, mate. Yeah. Good fight, isn't it? Long time yeah. in the making. It's a great fight. Um, Dillian White deserves a shot. He's been waiting a very long time. I think if, I'm, if I was to pick a winner, it'd be Tyson Fury. I think he's a clear favourite, but someone with the tenacity of Dillian White and the, the will to win, I think he's going to make it an interesting, interesting uh, fight. Johnny, just get a Bosch for us. Bosch. Good stuff. All the best, mate, Cheers, on Saturday night. Enjoy the video. Feel free to hit the like, subscribe, and share. As always, if you want to support us to the next level, head over to the patreon.com backslash the boxing voice. We have tons of exclusive from Border Wars, Entitled, Betting Shows, the list goes on and on and on. But in addition to that, if you guys have questions for fighters, trainers, or promoters, this is where you can submit them. We will run out, get these questions answered, and put it back on the show just for you guys. Appreciate it. Peace.